Well, last week we introduced you to a SELA couple who stumbled across the bones of a mammoth on their property. This week we find out how they used that discovery to help out a community. Jason Valentine has the story in tonight's In Search of the Northwest. Last week we looked at the discovery and excavation of the mammoth dig just north of SELA, found on the land of Doug and Bronwyn Mayo. The excavation stopped in 2010, but the Mayos didn't want it to end there. They formed a nonprofit organization in 2013 around their mammoth find. The goals of our foundation is to preserve the site and promote education. Um, and we're trying to basically take this site and plant that seed in kids to be excited about science. They built, through help from sponsors, a mobile educational exhibit to take to schools around central Washington. You know, to have an opportunity like this, how can you ignore it? And how can you not share it with the community? Kids get a hands-on experience with the mobile unit. Also, the silhouette that marks the spot was also made from students from Perry Tech and Yakima Valley Tech. When these kids are older, they can show their kids or their grandkids, you know, I built this. And I think that's just something that's priceless. Students even got to name the mammoth. We had a contest with the kids, basically, that they figured it should be Columbo, and we thought that was a, a great answer, and so they won. I'd like to thank the Mayos for their time and passion for education. You'll never know who or what will inspire you when you go in search of the Northwest. Pretty neat indeed. And if you know of a unique site in the Northwest, let Jason know. It might be featured on a future In Search of the Northwest episode. Just email him at jasonv at kvutv.com.